Sound experience monitoring to troubleshoot issues like widescreens and request failures. As websites and mobile applications become the most frequently internet products for users nowadays, the user's tolerance for service availability, latency, and widescreen has significantly decreased. User experience monitoring has thus emerged as one of the critical scenarios of observability. Today, Let's delve into several typical scenarios of user experience monitoring in detail. Scenario 1. How to identify the performance experience of an individual user within an application. Traditionally, most people's understanding of user experience monitoring has been confined to macro-level monitoring data such as PV, UV, and area counts, which are used to gauge overall user experience and application performance. However, when it comes to specific single-user instances, root cause analysis during fault reporting is often lacking. For instance, if the success rate of order payments is only 30%, we might not have insight into why exactly 70% of users are experiencing payment failures. Scenario 2. How to identify pages with excessively long widescreen loading times or outright widescreens and then locate the root cause. For users interacting with websites or mobile applications, encountering extended periods of widescreens when opening new pages or clicking on services can lead them to perceive that there is an issue with the website or that the service has stopped altogether. A sudden widescreen without any explanations will leave users perplexed. Such occurrences often result in users closing the web page or exiting the app immediately. Clearly, white screens negatively impact user experience and conversion rates. So how can one quickly identify these problematic pages and determine their underlying causes? Scenario 3. How to analyze cases where multiple business requests failing contribute to the failure of a user's business operation. In the context of e-commerce social platforms, when a user opens a forum page, fills in relevant information, and submits the form, then an error message suddenly shows up. They may opt to retry or abandon the form altogether. Behind the scenes, the form submission failure could be due to the failure of multiple interconnected business requests. So how could one approach such analysis? For the above scenarios, we can leverage the user experience monitoring capabilities provided by application real-time monitoring service, ARMS, from Alibaba Cloud. Prior to initiating comprehensive analysis, however, it is essential to integrate probes to ensure complete and accurate data collection. 1. Log in to your Alibaba Cloud account and select Application Real-Time Monitoring Service in the console. 2. Click on Front-End Monitoring and at the top right corner of the Front-End Monitoring list, click Create Application. 3. Name the site application you want to monitor. Upon creation, generate a unique site identifier PID that is bound to this specific site and configure SDK extended settings according to your requirements. 4. Proceed with JavaScript snippet insertion. Currently, there are three methods provided. Asynchronous loading, synchronous loading, and NPM package installation. Here, we demonstrate the setup process for the most commonly used asynchronous and synchronous loading methods, which are quite similar. Simply copy the relevant code and paste it into the body section of your page's HTML to complete the probe integration. After saving the pasted code, return to the console to view the data reporting status. If we see normal data reporting, then the front-end monitoring installation is successfully completed. And now, we can proceed with the official analysis. For the scenario of identifying individual user performance experience within an application, 1. Log into the Application Real-Time Monitoring Service Console and navigate to the list of applications under User Experience Monitoring. Select the target application, and within the top navigation menu, choose the option for Session Tracking. 2. Enter the username or user ID to search for the corresponding session record. 3. In the session list, 
click on the desired session ID to view detailed session trace information. You can view the user operation trace, including page loads, resource loading, era, user behaviors, and custom events. For instance, if a session trace shows slow page loading, you can click to view the specific duration of a resource consumption during the slow loading period. Trace the details of resource requests and loading, and pinpoint the status of resource consumption for API requests and similar resources. Ultimately, identifying the reason why the user was unable to complete their interaction with the service. For the scenario involving identifying pages with excessive white screen loading times or outright white screens and locating the root cause. 1. Log in to the Application Real-Time Monitoring Service Council and select the list of applications under User Experience Monitoring. Click on the targeted application. 2. Identify slow-performing pages based on access speed. Locate the slowest loading pages and then determine the underlying causes using fundamental web metrics, page load waterfalls, and session tracking for slow pages. 3. On the Page Access Details page, display the basic information and resource consumption for a single page load. Analyze the resource loading situation and identify any resources and anomalies that impact the page loading experience. For the scenario where multiple failed business requests lead to a user's failed business operation, 1. Sign in to the Application Real-Time Monitoring Service Council and click on the target application. 2. Navigate to the application's API requests in the top navigation bar. Besides the basic overview charts, the API details provide insights into number of requests, request time and status code. Choose to analyze the request status codes to get a granular view of the specific requests involved. 3. Click on Trace Link to see the chain information from the front-end request initiation to the back-end service call. Since many network issues stem from the back-end rather than the front-end, use the call chain to locate back-end problems. To summarize the capabilities of Alibaba Cloud Arms for user experience monitoring, 1. Leveraging the user experience monitoring session trace capability, ARMS collects and analyzes user attributes and behavior records to swiftly pinpoint or recreate the issues faced by users. 2. Using the access speed statistics function, ARMS ranks page rendering times for the first paint, identifies the slowest rendering pages, and combines these findings with page loading, waterfall charts, and slow page session traces to precisely locate performance bottlenecks. 3. Through the User Experience Monitoring API Detail feature, APIs are sorted based on era rates, and issues are pinpointed via session tracing and link trace functionalities to trace the origin of the problems. 4. Employing resource era and JavaScript era diagnosis functions, ARMS confirms the presence of critical resource errors and detects any JavaScript errors, ensuring no impediments to smooth user interactions are overlooked.